Greetings, welcome to this new video about superposition theorem. Solve the problem number seven. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of the superposition method to solve a problem. And I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of using superposition to solve the problem at hand. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4, as well as three independent sources. The question now is to calculate the voltage VO across the resistor R3 by applying the superposition principle. Let's move on to the solution. First, we begin by identifying each independent source in this uh, circuit. This step provides a clear understanding of the source that will be analyzed separately. In this circuit, we can observe three independent sources. One independent voltage source is Vs and two independent current sources Ia and Ib. Next, we proceed to deactivate all but one independent source in the circuit. This involves replacing the inactive voltage sources with short circuits which means zero voltage and the current sources with an open circuit, which means zero current. Let's begin first by activating the, the independent voltage source Vs and uh, deactivating the independent current sources Ia and uh, Ib, which will be replaced by uh, an open circuit. Now let's start first. We can see here that uh, R1 and R2 are in series, and those two resistors are in parallel to R4. That means R1, 2, 4, the equivalent resistor between R1, R2, and R4 is equal to R1 plus R2 parallel R4, which is given by R1 plus R2 times R4 over R1 plus R2 plus R4. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we, we found R124 is equal to 3 ohms. Now, in order to calculate the voltage V1 across the resistor R3, we can apply the voltage division, division rule. That means V1 is equal to R3 over R3 plus R124 times Vs. And if we replace R3, R124 and Vs with their numerical values, we obtain V1 is equal to 10 volt. Now let's consider the independent current source Ia active and the independent voltage source Vs and the independent current source IB inactive, which will be replaced by a short circuit and an open circuit. We can see here also that R1 is in series with R2 parallel to R4. That means R1 to 4 is the same as before is equal to 3 ohms. In order to calculate the voltage V2 across the resistor R3, we need to first to find the current I through the resistor R3. The current I can be determined by using the current division rule. That means I is equal to negative R124 over R3 plus R124 times IA. And if we replace the resistors, and the current with their numerical values, we obtain Ia is equal to negative 0.5 amps. Now, according to Ohm's law, the voltage V2 is equal to R3 times I. And if we replace R3 and I with their numerical values, we obtain V2 is equal to negative 1.5 volt. Now, let's consider the independent current source IB active and the independent voltage source Vs and the independent 
current source IA inactive, which will be replaced respectively by a short circuit and an open circuit. In order to calculate the voltage V3 across the resistor R3, we are going to apply the nodal analysis method. At node 1, this node, we can see here that the IB plus this current is equal to this current. That means IB minus V over R1 according to Ohm's law is equal to V minus V3 over R2. And if we replace IB and R1 and R2 with their numerical values, and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 3V minus 2V3 minus 8 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to node 2. At node 2, we can write V minus V3 over R2 is equal to V3 minus 0 over R3 plus V3 minus 0 over R4. And if we replace R2, R3, R4 and R4 with their numerical values, we obtain finally 3V minus 6V3 is equal to 0. Now by performing 1 minus 2, we obtain 4V3 minus 8 is equal to 0. That means V3 is equal to 8 over 4 is equal to 2 volt. After completing the analysis for each independent source while treating the others as turned off, the subsequent step is to combine the result algebraically. This process enables us to determine the overall circuit response. That means the voltage VO is given by V1 plus V2 plus V3. And if we replace V1, V2 and V3 with their numerical values, we obtain VO is equal to 10.5 volt. After we finish the calculation, we conduct a simulation using a SPI simulator in order to verify our calculation. Now let's proceed to, to the SPICE environment. Here is our network drawn in SPICE simulator. This is, is the independent voltage source VS, the independent source IA, IB, and the independent source IA, resistor R1, R2, R3, and R4. Let's move on to analysis. This say analysis, calculate nodal voltages we can see here that the voltage vo across the resistor r3 is equal to 10.5 volt after completing the circuit simulation we can clearly observe the similarity between the simulation and calculation results this serves as validation of our works all right thank you for watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and i will answer you as soon as possible if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share see you next time in another video about superposition method take care and bye bye